I'm an addict for Snickers. Addict for Snickers. Addict for Snickers. What's good, what's good? Back up in the building, it's your boy DJ Dells. You're now tuned to YouTube.com forward slash the sneaker addict. I'm feeling good today. And you know what? I'm gonna do a video to address all of the nonsense that I hear from time to time from the small fraction of haters that I do have in the world. I know a majority of my following and fans are, you know, big supporters and they're rocking with me. I mean, numbers don't lie. I've got a pretty decent number of subscribers, a pretty decent number of viewers. I don't think that my YouTube channel like groundbreaking where it's like, um, you know, like some other YouTubers that have millions of subs. That's a successful YouTube channel to me. To me, I think I'm still on the come up, but I have been on YouTube for a while. Been on YouTube for, let's see, almost seven years. Started over at DJ Dells TV, youtube.com forward slash DJ Dells TV. Me and maybe like 10 other people were doing reviews. I definitely was not the first, but I definitely was maybe the third or fourth person doing sneaker reviews. Shout out to everyone else that's still doing them to this day and still keeping it 100 and just doing their own thing. Shout out to Fran Relations, Sticky213, those guys have been doing it for a long time just like myself and they are still just doing the damn thing, man. They just, you know, showing their passion for shoes just like myself on my show. They're doing their thing on theirs, so shout out to them. But you would think that people would show a little more respect, but you know, I got like, we'll say out of maybe like 50,000 of my viewers, fans, followers, I've got about a hundred haters, and one thing I always get hate on is the paper right here. They always say, yo, the paper is see-through. How is the paper see-through? The shoes are fake. There's no way that you can have shoes and the black is see-through. Well, you know what, guys? Let me explain something to you. You see this light right here? That's the reason why it's see-through. This light is no joke. Let me show you guys how bright this damn light is, man. Do you see how bright that light is? So when I'm standing here, and I'm reviewing the shoes, you got a big ass light there blaming on this black paper, black plastic right here. And of course it's gonna be see-through, okay? So just to ether that stupid thing that a lot of you haters say, you guys, put um, YouTube videos out, trying to shoot darts at me. You guys also, what do you guys do? Twitter, you know, hitting me up on Twitter saying shit is fake, this and that. Um, like for instance, the Pantones. How can Dells have all these Pantones? How could he get them? No one else has them, so how could these be fake? Who's showing you Pantone 14s? Who? I'd love to know who else really showing you Pantone 14s. I'm not saying I'm the only one that has them, but it's not like there's a billion people having them. So how the hell are these fake? And also, how are they fake when they have... I want to cover some of the... Because there's all these replica spots now. They always watch all the legit videos and they're trying to make reps of everything. So I want to cover a little bit of the tech. But as you can see there in the corner, what it says, ship to Beaverton. You are not going to find a pair of fake shoes with this tag right here yet. Okay, I'm sure eventually you will. These are samples. I've been doing YouTube videos, as I said, for over six years. So why wouldn't I have samples like this if I've been doing it for this long with over 35,000 subs and over 8 million views? Why would I not have samples like this? Just like, what, last month? I showed you samples of these before anyone else did the retro of these Grand Hills that released samples you see the sample tag right here and I'm not showing this trying to like show off oh I got samples I'm, I'm just trying to explain you I've been doing this look Reebok sent me this the other day for no reason for no reason at all just out of love sample see the tag sample you know the sample you got your sample boxes as you can see here the samples even older shoes samples I've been doing this for a long time. I didn't just start doing sneaker reviews a couple of years ago. I've been doing this for a long time. I know what I'm doing, <laughs> and I'm not gonna sit here and just keep seeing people trying to get shine off a of pop of my name. Cause I see that's how it is nowadays. 
people want to diss someone that got somewhat of a name to try to build their name up. But keep in mind, you're always going to be remembered as the person who did that, not the person that has a good show. You're always going to be remembered as the person, oh, that's the guy who hates Dells. That's the one who went in on Dells. That's the one who went in on that YouTuber. Because I watch from time to time other YouTubers and always diss each other on some WWE shit. And that's why you're never going to see me directly shoot darts at any YouTubers. I'm not into that. I don't want to shoot any darts to no one. I want to review my shoes and put on this great sneaker show that I started two and a half years ago. Gave you guys an episode almost every single day for over two and a half years. Who's doing that? Who has given you that much quality work? But you know what? I had to do this video because there's just too many people trying to get shine off my name. So now, you know what I mean? I had to make my own video called exposing Dells or all these other things, you know what I mean, trying to trying to shit on my name. You want to prove me wrong, find a Jordan 14 like this. Find the shoe, pick it up for me, I'll give you an address, mail me the shoe, and I will review them side by side. And if you can prove to me this shoe is fake by sending me a fake pair and showing me that you got the same exact pair and they are fake, I will publicly on my show admit that these are fake. I have no problem admitting about fake shoes. This show is always about legit shoes. As I was saying, I was covering the label. I have people from fake companies hitting me up all the time wanting me to do reviews on fake shoes. And if you notice lately, a lot of people are actually doing that. Me, I have no interest in that. They've offered me a lot of money too. A lot of money. I mean, I'm not talking a couple of thousand dollars too. I'm talking a lot of money they've offered me to review fakes. You know what I mean? I'm not doing it. If people want to do it, that's cool with them. I'm not putting people down that review replicas at all. You know what I mean? That's what they want to do. That's what they want to do. You wear replicas, I don't care. That's what's up. That's what makes you happy. Wear them. Whatever makes you happy, do. I don't judge people if they wear replicas. Last week I ran into someone that was kind of on the fence and saying what's up to me because they were wearing replicas and then I noticed they kept looking at me weird so I said yo what's up man and they were like yo what's going on you're Dells right I'm like yeah it's like yeah I just felt funny hollering at you you know as you can see my shoes he was wearing some like fake Jordan 5s and I was like yo dog it doesn't matter what you wear like if, if you like the show you like the show say what's up to me I don't care I'm not I'm not fake you know what I mean I'm not gonna judge you because of what you wear you know what I mean I'm gonna judge you because if you're a dick or you're a jerk or a punk, then we go on, then, then it's gonna be something different. If you approach me in a disrespectful manner, then we're gonna go from somewhere nice to somewhere you don't wanna be. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not a fake person. I got love for everyone as long as you you straight up and you're stand up person. As long as you come off cool, I'm gonna fuck with you. You cool, you know what I mean? If I see someone, but that threw me for a loop when that dude who's a fan of the show said, you know, that I may look at them, like look down at them. I would never do something like that. So if anyone's ever in that predicament where they see see me and they want to say what's up to me and they may be rocking like you know some replica shoes or something I don't give a damn man I don't, I don't care the only thing I care about is if you disrespect me in person then there's gonna be an issue I don't have time for the internet rah-rah nonsense never have never will you're never gonna see me on YouTube you know dissing people like other people dissing other people sometimes dissing me like I'm not with all that man this show's about shoes it is that's what it's about this is about me and shoes this has nothing to do with other youtubers channels this show has to do with me and the shoes and that's it and me reviewing shoes upcoming shoes shoes I own so that people know what they look like and you know what I mean and I talk my mind too while I'm at it and and I try to crack some jokes keep it fun keep it entertaining some people sometimes say that oh well Dallas, you have an ego nah I don't have an ego I'm just trying to keep things up tempo and fun you know what I mean I'm not gonna sit here like okay so um this is the shoe I bought today and it's blue and it's white and silver. Like a lot of people on YouTube, like, dog, man, like, I do this, man. I do this, I've done this for a long time, you know what I mean? And I enjoy doing it. When I don't enjoy doing it no more, I'm not. But, you know, I can't expect my fans, my supporters to go and try to defend me. I gotta do it myself because I'm sitting here and I just keep seeing more and more people, you know, actually even making money off my name now. It's, it's the point where people are actually earning money from talking about me and, and it's ridiculous now so now I just made this video so if you see anyone ever dogging me dissing me and you are a true supporter 
of me or a fan or whatever you want to call yourself, show them this video right here and prove me wrong. You want to prove me wrong? Show me that these are fake. Because on this show right here, I've never showed not one fake shoe in my life. Every shoe that I've shown on this show has been legit. On DJ Dell's TV, I did once show a shoe that was fake that I thought was real. It was a pair of Air Force One Year of the Dogs. Someone gave me, I don't know nothing about Air Force Ones. It's not like Jordans. I know my J's. You're not going to get me on some J's. But someone gave me a pair as a gift. I DJ. If you want to learn more about me and my DJing, go to Billboard.com. That's the big site, Billboard.com. Search DJ Dells. You get to know a little bit more about me and my life and what I do. So. I do DJ, and when I do DJ, a lot of times I get a lot of nice gifts and people treat me out from dinner, to shopping, and this and that. I went to this one spot, and they gave me a pair of shoes. I'm not going to investigate the shoe. And you know what? To be honest with you, I thought they were real because, you know, I don't know Air Force Ones. You give me an Air Force One tomorrow, I'm going to take it. I'm not going to say, no, I don't want your gift. I'd be a complete jerk to do that. But yeah, once I did have a pair of fake Air Force Ones, and I wasn't trying to pass them off as real I literally didn't know that they were fake and you know what if that's the case with anyone else where they have shoes and they think they're real and they're not real you know what I mean I don't look nothing I don't, I don't look down at someone and I don't think there's nothing wrong with a person if that's the case you know what I mean now if you're someone who's trying to pass fake shoes as being real shoes then there's a problem there then that's whack you know what I mean now that we're talking about reps I'm gonna talk really quickly about it one more the one thing I do not like about reps is because there's a lot of people that scam a lot of people that want the real legit shoes and they are actually buying reps because someone is selling reps and claiming they're real shoes you know what I mean and some people and some people may say oh well it's the person's fault that is buying the shoe they're supposed to know the shoe nah man that's not cool man a person's paying their hard-earned money for a shoe they were supposed to get the shoe that they want. That's not cool in my opinion. Um, me, I didn't even give a damn about that Air Force One that I got. It was given to me for free. But if I ever bought a shoe and if it was fake and I paid good money for it, if I paid any money for it, that's bullshit. So that's the only downfall about the replicas I really don't like because a lot of people get scammed all the time and that sucks. But if someone really just likes the replicas, I'm not going to ever diss them. I, I totally have nothing bad to say about them at all. It, whatever makes you happy. This is clothes right here, guys. That's why I don't even like being called a sneakerhead. Some people are like, yo, Dells, you're crazy. This guy don't even like being called a sneakerhead. I don't like being called a sneakerhead because I don't want to be known for just shoes. My life does not consist of just shoes. My life is way bigger than just shoes. So I'm just like, don't want to be called a sneakerhead. That's just my opinion, you know what I mean? Just like someone, just like that chick, what they call her, a super head, because she sucked dick all the time, you know what I mean? Me, I'm not a sneaker head, like, I'm not fucking, like, sneakers 24-7, like, like, you know, it's not my t entire life, you know what I mean? I can live for the rest of my life with one pair of shoes if I have to. This is just a luxury for me to own all these shoes. All these shoes that I have all around me, this is just... It's just a luxury. It's because I work hard and I like nice shit and I like to work hard and then it pays off because I end up getting nice shit. And that's all this is, you know what I mean? I just like nice shit. And with that said, for all you haters out there, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you can prove me wrong. If you're still that passionate about trying to prove me wrong, please do so. I'm never going to respond to anyone directly on this channel. You want to holler at me, hit me up on Twitter, Facebook. This here, this is a sneaker show. It's strictly about sneakers, but this has to be addressed because I'm tired of just hearing all that and me just being quiet and no one really defending me and I don't really expect anyone to defend me but at the same time I got a big following and everyone's just sitting there watching people just sitting there quiet so you know what it's time for me to open my mouth it's time for me to just set the record straight and shut you guys up I brought you guys facts you want to test me then bring me some facts back bring me that shoe I'll review it and if it's fake I'll admit it and like Life goes on as I said you proving that I have a fake Pantone shoe does not affect my life at all but but you're not gonna find a fake shoe like this I promise you and with that I'm done gave you haters enough attention not happening again so appreciate it appreciate it maybe you should just you know absorb what I'm saying and maybe you know second guess yourself if you could put that much energy into me you're obviously loving what I do 
No more talking. Check out my blog, thesneakeratic.com. Morning, noon, and night like clockwork. Hit the thumbs up button if you love what I'm doing. Make sure to follow the brand new Twitter, twitter.com forward slash thesneakaddict. And with that said, I'll be back. Really, really.